Welcome to Flip Lesson 5.6. Today we are going to be taking a look at number patterns. And as you know, thus far we have been studying factors and multiples in Chapter 5, which are essentially number patterns in their own right. So we are going to be using the information that we have already learned to help us identify number patterns. Our essential question today is how can you make and describe patterns? So if we jump down to the Unlock the Problem, we're going to circle what we need to use and we're going to underline what we need to find as we are reading. Again, the blue box gives you the same tips. Daryl is making a pattern for a quilt. The pattern shows 40 squares. So I'm feeling like 40 squares is probably going to be important. Every fourth square is blue. Again, feeling that's probably a clue that I'm going to need to use. How many blue squares are in the pattern? So I need to find how many squares how many blue squares are in the pattern? And I know that every fourth square is blue. Okay? A pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. Each number or object in the pattern is called a term. Okay? In this case, our pattern is going to be every fourth square. So, essentially, guys, you are skip counting by fours. Alright? So if we go down, and I'm just going to use my pencil to shade. It does say shade the squares that are blue. So I'm accounting by fours. The four is already done for me. So then my next one that I'm going to shade in is going to be eight. Counting by fours. One, two, three, four. Then I have twelve. One, two, three, four. Then I have sixteen. One, two, three, four. Then I have twenty. One, two, three, four. Twenty-four. One, two, three, four. Twenty-eight. One, two, three, four. Thirty-two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 36. And then the last one would be 40. Okay? So which squares are blue? I'm going to list all the squares that I shaded down here on this line. So I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. These are all the multiples of 4. So, there are 10 blue squares in the pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Down under number 1, it says, what patterns do you see in the arrangement of the blue squares? Well, one thing I notice is that it seems to go, there's two shaded, then in the next line there's three shaded. Then there's two shaded, then in the next line there's three shaded. So that, to me, is a pattern. So there are two shaded squares. There are two shaded squares in the first row. In the first row. Three in the second. Three in the second. Two in the third. And so on. So the pattern would keep repeating. Okay, what patterns do you see in the numbers of the blue squares? I already gave you this answer. The pattern is the multiples of four. The numbers that we shaded are all the multiples of four. So the numbers, the numbers in the blue squares, numbers in the blue squares are multiples of four. Okay, they are all numbers that you can multiply four by to get an answer. Okay, go ahead and flip to the next page, page 312. Another way that we can find and describe a pattern, here's an example of finding and describing a pattern. We are going to look for the rule for the pattern is to add five. So it's already given us the rule. The first term in the pattern is five. So we're going to use that rule to apply the pattern. Okay, so five, we add five is ten. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. Okay? So we would put our numbers down here. Again, these are multiples of 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and so on, so on, so on. Okay? 
says describe other patterns in the numbers. What do you notice about the digit in the ones place? Well, I notice that it alternates. I have a five, then I have a zero, then I have a five, then I have a zero, then I have a five, then I have a zero. Okay, so the pattern in the one place alternates between zero and five. So the digits, the digits in the ones place, the digits in the one place alternate between zero and five, okay? Describe the pattern using the words odd and even, okay? Essentially, guys, the pattern, the terms, if we flip back, term, each number or object in the pattern is called a term, okay? Our pattern, 5, 10, 15, 20, our pattern is increasing by 5. Each number, it's alternating between odd and even. So we have odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So again, the pattern is alternating odd, even. The pattern is alternating odd, even. Okay? Describe the pattern using the word multiples. Guys, I already told you this too. The term, the terms, which are answers in the pattern, are all multiples of five. So the terms are multiples of five. Okay? Down here at the bottom of the page, it says try this. Find and describe a pattern. The rule for the pattern is to add three and then subtract one. The first term in the pattern is six. So we're going to add three, so that's going to be nine. Subtract one. So six minus, or six plus three is nine. Then we're going to subtract one. That would be eight. Then we're going to add three. That would be 11. Then we're going to subtract one. That would be 10. Then we're going to add three. That would be 13. Subtract one. That would be 12. Add three. 15. Subtract one. 14. Add three. So we should end with 17. Okay? It says, describe another pattern in the numbers. Another pattern would be the odd numbers in the pattern are always greater than the term before. So it looks like every other number is an odd number. So we have odd, 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 odd. The odd numbers are increasing. So it was 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. So the odd number, the odd part of the pattern is increasing by 2. Okay? That would be one way to describe what is happening in this pattern. Okay? Go ahead and flip to page 313. On page 313, you are going to complete number two and number three first, and it says use the rule to write the numbers in the pattern. Describe another pattern in the numbers. So you're gonna use the rule, and then what else do you notice about it, okay? Then once you've done two and three, you're gonna skip back up and complete number one.